Earthquakes, tsunamis and volcanoes 2011 will be remembered as a year of massive natural disasters, not just internationally but here in New Zealand too. Amanda Gillies looks back at the shocking images that affected many across the globe. January and an inland tsunami that towered up to eight metres swept through Toowoomba in Queensland. Cars were easy meat with houses for afters. Oh, no. More than 30 people died, many more had terrifying tales of survival. By the month's end, four-fifths of Queensland was underwater. Damage was estimated at more than $1 billion. February. A powerful earthquake struck Christchurch, killing 181 people. It was the second deadliest natural disaster on record here. Homes, buildings, lives destroyed in less than a minute. It's a national state of emergency stayed in place for two months. Less than three weeks later in March, it was Japan's turn, an earthquake measuring nine that triggered a tsunami that went right off the scale. Thousands died, the count's still not complete, so many are still missing. If that wasn't enough, the catastrophe included a nuclear accident on a scale second only to Chernobyl. April brought disaster to America. At least 310 people were killed in southern United States. This was the largest twister caught on film, but it was only just one of 160 reported in that week. The twisters and tornadoes continued to wreak havoc in May. In Missouri, 158 people died in one day, the single deadliest US tornado since modern record keeping began in 1950. Then all heck broke loose and something come crashing through the front door and it just, you know, we just thought the house was going to explode any second. A volcano in Chile blew its top in June, creating all sorts of air traffic problems around the world. Flights across South America, Australia and New Zealand were grounded. More than 3,000 people had to be evacuated. Late July and the flooding begins in Thailand. It didn't let up for three months. In that time, more than 600 people were killed. Six million hectares of land went underwater, an area the size of every forest in New Zealand put together. The damage bill, $6 billion. In September, the heavy rain targeted southern Pakistan, killing at least 226 people and leaving more than 300,000 homeless. Many were forced into makeshift camps. In total, some 900 villages were underwater. October and the earth shook violently again, this time in Turkey. More than 600 people were killed, more than 4,000 injured, around 60,000 were left homeless. The year ended with a tropical storm battering the Philippines, triggering flash floods that claimed hundreds of lives. Most of the victims were asleep when the water hit. Thousands more fled their homes, many clambering onto rooftops to escape the wall of water. Amanda Gillies, 3 News.